So I started out the week on this downed pine job, like this giant white pine, went down, crushed like a fence and a neighboring shed and all kinds of stuff. I know, I know some people get the red carpet, but for me, this is pretty dang close. Just destroyed what was another shed right here. Like this whole, this thing right here, there was another one here. Right now it's down to like a piece of OSB. It's like three quarter inch. I don't know, mildly overloaded. I did put a ratchet strap on the dropper. That's the one that usually, you know, makes things exciting for tailgaters. And as I was out there moving that pine, big old logs and stuff, just, you know, picking them up with the claw, moving them into the trailer, I ended up thinking back to how I used to do stuff. I had a guiding principle, which was that one guy, alone, given enough kind of ingenuity and stubbornness and time like the ability to actually take some time one dude could move any tree the whole dang thing but obviously it was not about like picking up big material and moving it at that point it was about cutting stuff up small enough that you could possibly lift it get it into the trailer and get it out of there anyway fast forward to a couple years ago i started moving stuff with the tractor Then I got a mini skid steer that it was okay. The price was right. The machine was kind of, it was fine. It was not the best, but I started using that thing. And then I realized, man, this is where it's at. So I saved up some dough and got this, to my mind, perfect, ideal machine to have developed this relationship with. Now I'm gonna pretend this is a good parking spot. In fact, it completely blows. When I was coming, I just kind of, I don't know, like slid or got crooked or something. There was like this wonderful stand of trees here and people said they've been losing them like every year. They're just kind of fallen. Sort of like this. This is like a example. Thin topsoil or root development, whatever. They want the trees down. And look at there. They actually put orange tape on the trees to be removed. This is the way to do it. Now this might sound like a stretch, but for me, working with this thing is kind of akin to those science fiction movies with the exosuits. You know, you've seen those things where a person kind of like climbs into it and then they have this big robotic metal exoskeleton that they move around with and climb and jump and shoot stuff, whatever. I started out thinking it was like a moving machine but it's also a really good like pulling and pushing machine. It's just got more juice, more power, more force than I do. So it's kind of like a weaker, less sci-fi version of the exosuit out there on the job.
All right, so I'm all kind of gaga crazy about the mini skid steer, but I gotta say that just like with any new technology that comes on the scene, you know, you start doing stuff in new ways, you also lose some of the prior practices, you know, the habits of doing stuff. In particular, I have been using wedges to drop simple trees a lot less frequently than I used to. And you know, there is like an art and an artistry to wedging over a tree. And while there is a little bit of finesse using the mini skid steer to flop over a stem, it's just not the same thing. So there are certainly some purists out there who probably think it's minorly or majorly bogus to use a motor powered machine to push over a tree. But I just feel like I get a little more speed with the push a little more precision and oomph, especially with leaners. Plus, I hate to admit, it kind of just gets things done a little bit quicker. So over here at the wood pile, thinking about machines replacing other devices and tools and stuff, I cannot help but think about the maul or the ax. In our case, pretty much being replaced by the wood splitter. Our 35 ton gas powered splitter, it's not like elegant, refined and all that. But dang it, if that thing doesn't just put a lot of wood in the woodshed. And Melissa and I working together can just totally batch this stuff out and get it done. So yeah, at this point, it's not really like an overstatement to say that I have developed a relationship with the machine. Like all machines, it will give me hassles and headaches somewhere down the road. They just always break down and fail you. But dang it, if it hasn't sort of become integrated into the way I do things, you probably got some kind of machine like that. It kind of becomes the thing you end up using more and more frequently. And the next thing you know, you're kind of like in this symbiotic relationship with the thing. This right here is not necessarily a how-to video, more like the story of how I've been doing it in relationship with this machine. 